Yo, what up? It's your boy Maul from Obese from MachineMasters.com, and I'm here with a Mobile Tip Tuesday. Man, we're going to be talking about gear. Uh, myself, for many of those that have been following me, my Instagram and on YouTube here, you know that a lot of my production is on my iPad. With that being said, I have to be equipped with certain things. Not just the iPad itself, just not the apps itself, but certain hardwares, headphones, the iPad case. Me, I'm one of those individuals that I need everything. So this week up, man, I'm going to be doing a review on the Presonus Audio Box i2. The Presonus Audio Box i2 is not only for iPad, but it's for Mac and Windows. But we're talking about it mainly with the use of the iPad. In my own studio, I use the Fire Studio 10, so I am familiar with Presonus hardware, the durability, capabilities of what it can do. All right, so we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you guys what this audio box i2 is all about. All right, y'all, before we go into depth on the interface, I wanna mention this feature that also comes with the audio box i2. It's called the Capture Duo for iPad. And what it is, it's a one-click recording and wireless transfer of your recordings to the Studio One. And I believe that may be for Studio One 3. So I think you have to have Studio One Three in order to use that feature. You can always go on their website to check out for sure what version you need, but I believe it's three. But anywho, you can wirelessly transfer your recordings from your iPad straight to the Studio One program on your computer. So I think that is real dope. All right, so just wanted to get that out the way, mention that to you guys. We're not gonna focus on that. We're gonna just focus on the audio box, using it with your iPad primarily. So as you see the interface, it has two XLR plugs, two lines, mic and the mic in line. It's the quarter inch also that you can plug up for your guitar line as well. You have your phantom, phantom power button. You have your audio, your inputs for each line you have your mix channel for your input and the playback which i tend to like on the interface you have your master volume button and you have your headphone gain input button there quarter inch for your headphone jack which is typical on the interface and if i turn it over to the back you have your midi in and out you have your usb for your mac and pc you have the lightning plug this goes into your ipad and from your lightning cord you plug it in right here anytime you see an interface with this on it that's what that is and i think it's dope that they have the option to do both uh, and actually you need it because you have to still power the interface i recommend let me sit this down real quick i recommend that you guys go pick up the lightning adapter the lightning usb adapter you'll be able to charge your ipad and power the interface so definitely i highly recommend that you guys go get the lightning lightning usb adapter get the original apple version of it i want to say that you can use the 30 pin as well I haven't tested it yet, but as long as you have your plug here, you should be able to just plug, if you if all my 30 pin users that are still using an iPad with the 30 pin, you should be able to just plug your wire up, plug into your iPad. And as long as you have the power, you should be good to go. All right, so uh, you have that, and you have quarter inch lines for your speakers, for your monitors, and the whole feel of this box here man it's, it's very very dope i like it i've owned one of their smaller preamps that's similar that looks like this one of the little small preamps a long time ago so i like the rugged feel very uh professional looking for an ipad and uh yeah man overall quality is dope you can record 24 bit 96 kilohertz uh audio recording which is phenomenal which is uh just insane for ipad uh, i did some recording at at my uh church a couple of weeks ago recording some uh vocals i used uh, the, the personas audio box i2 with my road procaster mic and i was using cubasis as my recording software and i must say that the recording came out very pristine 
I was surprised at the quality of the recording that came out. So all in all, on a scale of one to five, I have to give this, and I'm not just saying this because they sent this to me, I would have to give this mug a five, really, truly, truly and honest. Now, I know they have some other competitors out there. I haven't used any of the other ones. Other, uh, Well, I have used one of them. I won't mention the interface that I use, but I tell you what, there's no comparison. The interface that I had didn't have XLR, XLR uh, plugs for mics. Uh, it only had the quarter inch. Uh, so it was very limited uh, on what on what you could do. This is more on a professional end, I take tell you the truth. And basically, man, you can just pack up your iPad, your mic, your interface, like I did a couple of weeks ago, man, and wherever you're at, hotel, wherever you can, you know, maybe set up a booth or something or whatever. Uh, definitely, uh, I highly recommend uh, this this joint. So man, in closing on the review, like I say, man, it is definitely a piece of gear that I would recommend for the iPad, the iOS musician. Again, it's the full package. I've always been an advocate of saying that all I need is my iPad if I'm in any environment. Now adding on the interface, the audio box i2, it just solidifies everything. So I definitely recommend that you guys go out and purchase the PreSonus audio box i2. Again, man, thanks to the guys over at PreSonus uh, for sending it to me. And next week, man, I will be back with another piece of gear, another must have that you need in your studio. All right, it's Mobile Tip Tuesdays. It's your boy Mar from the Beats machinemasters.com do not forget about the event that we're doing the showcase producer conference march the 18th south by southwest weekend flyers on the screen all information is there love to see you in the building you dig uh till next week grace and peace